New question, the member from Ottawa, and the PN Carlton. To the Premier. In 2012, her government embarked on a gaming modernization plan that cancelled the slots at the racetrack program and attempted to expand casinos across Ontario, causing the deaths of thousands of horses and the loss of thousands of rural jobs. In Ottawa, the Rideau Carlton Raceway was threatened with a downtown Ottawa casino. Only after major public backlash did the Liberals abandon that plan, or so I thought. Now, over 100 slot workers at the RCR, who are underpaid compared to their uh, counterparts across Ontario, are forced literally out into the Ottawa cold, locked out by the OLG. During the first um, weeks of this lockout, revenues from the slots at the Rideau Carlton are down $1 million from the same quarter a year ago. Is this a plan Question. to starve the Rideau Carlton Raceway of her patrons so this government can finally build a downtown Ottawa casino Thank with you. the slots and the horse truck out of the way? Thank you. Labor. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I, I don't think anybody in this House enjoys when they see a strike or a lockout. No. Ontario's got an excellent record in reaching a settlement in this regard. Over 98 per cent of agreements are reached around the collective bargaining. So what we concentrate on, Speaker, is working with the parties to focus on a settlement that's going to, resu that's going to result in a fair collective agreement. That's what we want to see in this circumstance. That's what we're working for at the Ministry of Labour. Nothing would please me more. I'm sure nothing would please all members of this House anymore to see that agreement reached. The way that agreement reached, Speaker, is to bring people back to the table. I'm pleased to inform, Speaker, I can answer, I think I can expand a little bit more on the supplementary. I'm actively engaged with the mediator in this regard. He's reaching out to the parties as I speak, Speaker. I'm going back to the Premier because the motive of, of what they're doing is to close down the Rideau Carlton Raceway and put these people out of a job and put the rest of those horse people out of a job so they can bring down a downtown Ottawa casino. First, the government attacked the rural roots of the people of Nepean Carlton at a half century old uh, racetrack because they eliminated the revenue sharing agreement. Now the government is forcing these folks here today out of unpaid, uh, underpaid employees out of work, and it has cost the OLG a million dollars. And the OLG is the only gaming corporation in the entire world that goes out of its way to lose money. They are biting off their uh, nose to spite their face. So I question the Premier again, and I would like a response from my constituents. Will the government recognize that it is being unfair to its employees, question. or will the government continue and uh, to uh, force out the Rideau Carlton Raceway and share their Thank secret you. plan for an Ottawa Thank you. Minister. Speaker, I'm not sure it's particularly helpful in this regard to try to solve the collective agreement in this House, sir. Speaker. Each of the parties has a record. We know which party was the one that was trying to get rid of public service jobs during the last election. That was very clear. But we're at a point right now, Speaker, we're at a point right now, Speaker, where we have a group that is locked out. And we have, uh, we have two parties that aren't at the table. Speaker, the role of the Ministry of Labour, and I would think the hope of everybody in this House, is that both sides will agree to return to that table to do the hard work, to make the tough choices that result in collective agreements that, in, that, uh, that at the end of it all, ensure that people have good employment in the province of Ontario, long-lasting, stable employment, Speaker. So I don't think there's any sense throwing stones about the motives behind this issue, Speaker. The member, from, the member from Prince Edward Hastings is warned. Wrap up, please. Thank Sentence. You. Clearly, Speaker, what we all should aspire to is to get these two parties back to the table to uh, ensure they Thank complete you. an agreement the way we have in 98% of the cases. Thank you. Thank you.